Time flies over us, but leaves a shadow behind. And today we're gonna talk about the shadow of a company, and the shadow that this company left in the book of automotive history, the shadow of Alfa Romeo. The year is 1909, and time is no longer distance between two places. Because you can drive an Alfa, and this is the fastest way to go from point A to point B. Actually, this is the first Alfa, and it's called Merosi 24 HP. Alfa's youngest technician director, Giuseppe Merosi, was an ambitious young man who started out selling bicycles. Soon after, Merosi was designing cars and motorcycles for Fiat and Bianchi. At Alfa, Merosi designed the first vehicle to come off from the new production line in Milan, Italy. The 24 HP features a single block 4.1 liter engine, single drive shaft, and reaches the top speed of 62 miles. Which probably doesn't sound much, but back in those days, it was the speed of light. Four years later, Merosi designed the Alfa Grand Prix, the first automobile with twin spark injection. The four-cylinder 4.5-liter engine helped to reach the top speed of 87 miles, and everything was going according to plan until 28th June 1940. One of the deadliest conflicts in history began, the First World War. During the First World War, Nicola Romeo, a successful electrical engineer from Nepal, purchased Alfa and other companies and started producing airplane engines and portable compressors. The firm was called Societa Anonima Italiana Nicola Romeo and Company. The new badge was created and it was written Alfa Romeo Milan. In the winter of 1918, the investors decided to take the company public. The new company name was officially registered in 3rd February 1918. One year later, in 1919, Alfa Romeo returned to the original roots of the company, resuming the producing of Alfa Romeo Grand Prix. One year later, 1920, the race era begins. Alfa Romeo launched the RL, featuring a straight-six engine with an overhead rocket arm and valves and brakes on all four wheels. The Alfa Romeo RL was a tremendous success and it became known as a Giuseppe Merosi masterpiece. International orders began and 2,640 automobiles was built. Three years later, the legendary Alfa Romeo race car driver Hugo Sivotti wanted to break a string of the second place finishes. To prepare for the legendary Targa Folio race in Sicily, he painted a white square with a quadrifolio, a four-leaf clover, on the front of his Alfa Romeo RL. As luck would have it, he finished in the first place. Ascari finished in a second. The victorious result of this difficult open road race was the beginning of the Alfa Romeo's racing success. Shortly after his famous victory at the Targa's Folio, Slivocci was testing a new race car at the Monza, but did not bear his lucky four-leaf plover, and he tragically crashed and lost his life. This marked the beginning of a tradition. All Alfa Romeo race cars was marked with the four-leaf plover, and this was the symbol of the Alfa Romeo's racing division. One year later, Alfa Romeo won the first world championship. In 1929, the Alfa of Ferrari racing team was created, and the Ferrari established the Scuderia Ferrari racing team in Modena, Italy. It included the more than 40 of the best drivers of all time, including Cascari, Campari and Nuvolari. The team managed all of the Alfa Romeo's racing achievements, and the cars was known as the Ferrari racing team Alphas. Several years later, 1937, the Alfa Romeo 8C was created and delivered Italy's first win of Le Mans. And this was the first known, soulfully good-looking Alfa. One year later, the 158 was created. In 1947, it was the year of Ferrazzi Adoro, another car with tremendous success and beautiful, beautiful design. 1949, it was the year of the Villa d'Este. One year later, the 1950, the first 159 was born. And one year later, Fangio won the second Formula 1 championship. Three years later, the new renaissance begins. And Bertone created a legend, the Giulietta. The sprint version was launched first. It was aerodynamic, practical, nimble and high-performance car. And it was representing the international symbol of the Italian creativity. Giulietta became one of the Alfa Romeo's best loved automobiles. There was many different variations. The Berlina, the TI, Brin and Spider, both in the Veloce version. In 1961, the first Giulia was the next masterpiece. And after that, as you can imagine, the story continues. And every time, the next one was better and better in every way. 
1963, the Alfa Romeo returned to the racing with Carlo Chatti out to Delta team. Chatti's people were committed to advancing Alfa Romeo's sporting image and international racing reputation. Two years later, the first GTA was created. GTA was short for Gran Turismo Alighieretta. This race car was specifically designed for the Turismo category. Bertone and Giugiaro work of art that retain the same lines of the Julia Sprint GT with lighter aluminum body panel and 1.6 liter engine with double ignition cylinder head. Fast and light, it would burn the competition in three different segments in the European Touring Car Championship. In the same year, Alfa Romeo 2600 was created. The Alfa Romeo 2600 features a powerful six-cylinder engine with five synchronized gears and stood in classic design. Three versions were made, the Berlina, Bertone Sprint and Touring Spider. And one year later, the legendary duet was born. Produced for over 27 years, the duet was Alfa Romeo's most enduring model and had a unique kettle ball shape and boat-like tail. The duet Spider earned a permanent place in American culture, and the special version of the Spider, nicknamed The Graduate, was sold only in the United States. In the 1967, the 33 Stradale was the first supercar of Alfa Romeo. Alfa Romeo asked the designer Franco Scaglione to add a life and beauty into the mechanics of the Tipo 33, Alfa Romeo's 33 2 racing model. He delivered the true masterpiece, and the 33 Stradale was known as one of the most beautiful vehicles ever created. Only 18 was made, and today it's with value at over 13 million dollars. This vehicle was created from the science of movement and aerodynamics. In 1970, the Bertone Span produced the original prototype that was introduced at the Expo 76 in Montreal, Canada, combinating race car wines and a sexual of a daily driver. The Montreal V8 cylinder engine, borrowed from the 33, produced 200 horsepower and top speed of 137 miles. 1972, the epic Alfa Romeo GTA Jr. was created, and it won every competition in the 1972. 1976 was the year that the Alfa Romeo returned to the Formula 1 with the Pratham engine. Powerful single-piece 20-cylinder 3-liter boxer engine with a speaker fuel injection system that produced 500 horsepower at 1500 RPM, which was magnificent view. 1981, the design became the first priority. The V6 transformer of Feta Coupe was created. The top of the range of Feta Coupe was equipped with V6 engine that turned it into a supercar. The 1987, the Alfa Romeo 164 made wave in America. Designed by Pini Forina, the Alfa Romeo 164 was the first automobile produced after the Alfa Romeo was sold to the Fiat Group. At top of the white sedan, it was roomy, powerful and stylish. It became so popular in America that special versions was made only for US market. 1992, the 155 was announced on the market. The Alfa Romeo 155 was the improved Alfa Romeo 75. Safe and sporty, the Alfa Romeo 155 was designed to replace the 75 with the new technical setup featuring front wheel drive and independent wheel suspension on the front and rear axle. On the racing series, the 155 was equipped with this XTI engine and helped Alfa Romeo to win the Italian Super Turismo title. The 1997, the 156, the record record was created. The birth of the 156 was revolutionary. Fitted with the sequential 7 speed gear shift was the huge commercial success and it was awarded with Car of the Year in Europe 1998. 2005, Alfa Romeo began manufacturing the Alfa Romeo 159 and Brera. It was an important year of production. The Alfa Romeo 159 combined safety, performance and comfort. The Brera was compact and powerful. The design was inspired by the classic Alfa Romeo styling. But there was a problem. The Alfa Romeo started to using a modern GTS petrol engine with many faults, electrical and mechanical issues. And this was the biggest mistake in the Alfa Romeo's history. 2007, the Alfa Romeo returned to the original roots of the company with the Alfa AT Competizione. The AT Competizione was limited edition touring automobile with brutal exterior and 8-cylinder Maserati engine. 2015, in nowadays, it was created the 4C. The 4C Cube continued the Alfa Romeo tradition of the performance and white weight body. And of course, there is a 4C Spider providing an open-air experience. Two years later, 
the new Julia Quadrifoglio was born. The sportiest on-road Quadrifoglio ever. The only Julia coming pure design with brutal power, styling and unbelievable handling. And now before less than one year, Stelvio was born, the first SUV of the Alfa Romeo. And we all gonna hope that those incredible pieces of technology and design will return the fame of one of the greatest automobile brands in the world. This project was created with extreme passion, love and many many hours of hard work. We want to apologize if we are missing something, but as you can imagine, this is one brand with 110 years of history. Anyway, if you liked our video, subscribe to our channel and tell us what you think in the comments. If you want to support us, visit our Patreon page for special deals and behind the scenes. Also, you can check out other awesome Alfa Romeo videos in our channel. And thank you for watching.